Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordine. If you're new here, today's video we are just going to be doing a wear test of the Dior Skin Correct and the Dior Backstage Concealer to see how both of those wear together because I'm intrigued. I am intrigued to see how this works. So if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. So <laughs> if you guys watch my Dior Backstage Concealer review, I said in that video that I wanted to compare the Skin Correct and the Backstage Concealer. Well, not compare use them together um, because you know that's what I normally do we always are having some type of concealer concoction so this is what we're gonna be doing today so I pulled out my backup of my Dior Forever Skin Correct because I did run out of my other one and I was trying to use some other concealers you know because I buy so much stuff but yeah I'm gonna open my backup today so we can compare we can compare these concealers. So if you guys are not familiar, the Dior Forever Concealer looks like this. It is one of my favorite concealers. The shade that I have in this one is 5N, and I normally use this to color correct. So this concealer is supposed to be a medium buildable concealer that corrects and conceals. So that's why the name is called Skin Correct. And then we have our backstage concealer here. Which is supposed to be more of a brightening, like, awakening. That's the name. That's what they said. Like, it's supposed to be awakening. It's supposed to, you know, lift the under eye area. This one claims to be full from my experience with wearing it. The first time around, I felt like it was more medium. So, normally I use the Skin Correct Concealer anyway to neutralize the darkness that I have under my eyes. So, that's what we're doing today. So, we're going to start off with the Skin Correct. 5N is the shade. This is what the applicator looks like if you haven't seen the concealer before. I'm excited. I feel like this is going to be good. We're going to pop that right in the hollow to make sure it neutralizes everything. And just a little bit around my mouth on both sides. And that's what we're going to do so far for the Skin Correct Concealer. For the Backstage Concealer, I'm going to go ahead and put that in my T-zone while we wait for this to set a little bit. So you can definitely see a color difference from both of those concealers, just in case you were wondering. I'm going to go ahead and blend out that Skin Correct. Okay, so we're blending out the backstage. Okay, so this is what we're looking like so far. I think it looks pretty good. Do I want to add more concealer? No, I think it looks good so far. So this is looking pretty nice. We're going to go ahead and set like usual. I'm going to be going in with the Christian Dior Cushion Powder. Alright guys, so this is what my makeup is looking like currently. I'm excited to see how this concealer combination wears. I think it's going to be a good one. Um, but this is what everything is looking like. I'll show you what it looks like in natural sunlight. And I'll come back after 13 hours to let you know how everything goes. I am back. I've had my makeup on for 13 hours, so this is what my under eyes are looking like. You 
You guys, this combination might be it. The Skin Correct and the Backstage Concealer combination might be it. I do not have any settling under my eyes. I feel like the coverage is fuller. It didn't fade as much as it did the last time. So keep in mind that the Skin Correct Concealer does neutralize because of the undertone that I have, the 5N. The like red undertone that it has to it neutralizes my discoloration that I have under my eye and then popping on the 5W for the backstage gives me a little bit of a highlight so yeah this combination of colors worked really well for the full coverage that I like for my under eye um but the longevity I think the skin correct helped the backstage from settling today because I used the same exact powder that I used when I initially wore the backstage there is no creasing no settling whatsoever on my under eye area and I've had my makeup on for 13 hours so I do think yeah whenever I wear the skin correct it doesn't really settle so I can say that that has helped this I like it a lot so this is probably gonna be my new combo I'm gonna put it right here in my everyday stash um so if y'all see me just wearing all Dior don't be mad at me don't be mad at me because be clearly Dior complexion just really works with my skin so that's what it is for now if you have the skin correct and you're thinking about buying the backstage i say do it and see how you like them together i think that you will like the backstage concealer by itself in general i do believe so i like it if you're looking for full coverage like don't think it's full coverage straight on please don't it's pretty much a high medium but you can build it up just want to put that out there just in case you're looking for something that's going to be like full straight on um but this is beautiful I like it a lot. I think that this combination is, again, going to be my go-to. Yes, I love it. So that's going to be it for today's video. Everything will be linked down in the description box down below. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jordine. I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it helps me out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.